So the other thing that's happening here, and this is one of the things that I really love about this, bridge up, posture in, hook, right? Kick so that my hips are under his armpit, grab his trapezius, come up if he's posturing up a lot, he's posting on that. Now, so, sometimes he's just so high, I'm gonna have a hard time getting this over here. So I'm just gonna change direction and go into that triangle. It's right there. Because he's posturing it up so much and my hips are floating on the ground, it should be relatively easy for me to go ahead and turn that corner and there's not a damn thing you can do to block it. Push, boom, kick, side, get to here. He's posturing up a lot because he doesn't want me to be able to get there. That's okay. Boom, and I get into that triangle position. Now, let's go ahead and say, I want to be able to make sure that we can do this safely. So, bridge up, posture. All right, kick out, thread, come up under my hands, and I'm actually getting here, but he's, once I get this leg across, he's still posturing up high. Right, so I've got this arm here, so he can't roll forward. So he, if he's really posturing up, right, I might put my hands here. Now I can I can safely put my hands back behind me um, because if he's posturing up, he's not forward rolling, right? So I can wait here all I want, but a lot of times when people feel this, they might feel, and especially if I put my hand on their ankle, right? So if Jet tries to forward roll right now, I've got his ankle on the ground. So he's not going to be able to finish that forward roll. So he feels that he can't do that. So which direction is he going to go in, right? I bring out the kickstand and he goes ahead and he rolls all the way back. Backwards. Other way. Boom. I go ahead and I lock my legs up here. I've got his elbow underneath my hip here. Right here. Now, you see that my top leg is underneath my bottom leg. And I've got his elbow on my hip because we were in the omoplata position. Now, I'm going to use my top leg and I want to get good cross-face pressure, right? And so now, I can start to bring... I'm being late on Jack because, again, we're, we're really sore today. But um, I want to try to keep his face going this way. I'm going to pressure a lot down onto this shoulder. I'm going to bring my heel close to his head so my knee's nice and bent. And then I just thigh master my legs together. Arch, pull, kick, thread, come up onto my elbow, start to get this position, right? Uh, being really, really heavy here, in fact, I'm going to post onto his ankle here, right, as we mentioned before, and I'm going to stop him from forward rolling and make, make him think that I don't want him to back roll. Once I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and just really, really trying to posture up, go ahead, I'm going to take away those posts, let him land. Catch his arm in my hip. Top leg goes under the bottom leg. And I think I, I didn't uh, tell you guys what this one's called because I didn't know. But this is a monoplata, by the way. So I create cross face pressure with my top knee. So I'm pressuring down onto this shoulder. This stops this shoulder from rising, right? Keeps it low while I raise the elbow up. So I'm controlling the top of the lever the bottom of the lever and I bring my leg out to control the middle of the lever and then I bring my thighs together. <laughs> 